You know, when I think of great professional wrestling legends, I think of a New Jack. Now, as we all know, as of recent, that the original, the ECW original, New Jack passed away this week. Um, to be honest, he was like one of the top 10, probably 20 most celebrated greatest ECW originals of all time. He would, uh, it's funny because when the new era, the new breed of ECW came out, he wasn't a new, a part of it because he believed in the old school tradition of ECW of extreme rules of let any and everything go. Hey, that's what New Jack was all about, about being original. And like he said, when WWE tried to copy the original ECW in 2006, New Jack just wasn't feeling it in 2005, 2006. It just didn't work out. So, unfortunately, New Jack never got into the new breed, the new era of ECW. But, like Paul Heyman said, you can't. Normally, when WWE, when WWE sees or hears superstar pass away, they would do a tribute video or show clips. But in this instance, with New Jack, you can't show clips or moments or promos or anything of him hardly because, like Paul Heyman said, he was the most non-PG professional wrestler that you'll ever meet and see. A New Jack was just real. And let's be honest, uh, if you're going to be real, be real. But don't be fake. And New Jack, he was real in all kinds of levels. Now to me, he is one of my personal favorite hardcore extreme wrestlers of all time. Because of his style and the way that he went in the ring and everything. He's just a complete gangster. That's what he was. A true original gangster. An OG. An original ECW wrestler. And New Jack was all that. So we just want to say we going to miss uh, the original ECW original New Jack. Jerome Young. Um, for his realness and for his toughness. You don't hardly see... People that are real on their work, regardless of what it is nowadays. But New Jack, he was real on his work, and he was true to his work. And that's what makes him an ECW original and an ECW legend.